louder. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And in the last video, you've seen us primer this thing again with another coat of that, uh, that good primer. So what we've been experiencing is that it's such a good primer that it's, it's really hard. And it's almost like a clear coat primer and it takes a while to sand. The reason that we primed it again was because we had the 120 grit scratches, which we can't paint over those. So what we're hitting it with now is 220 grit uh, with the wet sand. And then what we're gonna do after that is hit it with a little bit of 400 go kind of back over it a little bit, knock down that 220 scratch, and then we'll do a 2K sealer, which actually feels, I could technically paint over the 220 grit scratch, and then basically seal it, let it sit for like 20 minutes, and then we go straight to the base coat. So the car is really close. Basically, we just need to finish sanding the doors and the quarters, and I mean, pretty much the whole rest of the car. Jean did the, the roof and the hood and the fenders so far, but, uh, Actually, what I'm getting ready to do right now is I have the trailer hooked up. I know I don't need any other cars, but we're gonna go look at a wrecked IS300. It has a good engine and a black interior in it. We're not gonna use the engine on this, obviously, but you know, it never hurts to have another 2JZ laying around. And then we're actually gonna stop over at DNS Paint Center, which is my local paint center, and we're gonna mix up the paint for this thing because we are planning on painting this thing today or tomorrow, which is Saturday or Sunday. Basically, we need to paint it today or tomorrow because we're kind of running out of time here with the shop and we'll get into that in the future video. Uh, basically, we're kind of in a rush to get this thing done. So I'm gonna hop in my truck, go look at this IS, uh, see if that works out, and then we're gonna go mix up some paint. The boys made it to Tina's paint center. We're gonna see what they got. Eric has been working on something for me. What'd you make me? Two different colors. Two different ones? Well, same color, just different pearl. So what did you do? You put some, some vibrance okay. pearl in there? So, this first set, that's the pearl we use, crystallines. So what we did, this is that pearl in black. Ooh. Oh, I've seen that. This is that pearl over black. Over in. Yeah, because this looks pretty clean, but then that is just like that looks like like this looks like an OEM paint color, and then that looks like a custom, right? Like a like a right. hot rod paint job or something like well, you that. You can see how that black just milks out the pearl when it's in the black. So you know what is I mean? that the same? It's not the same pearl. It no. is. So this is the same pearl. This is the same setup. So this is just in black, and then I spray it straight black, and then put this in DBC 500, mm -hmm. and applied it over the black. So same black, same pearl, just applied different. Two different now, colors. Now I don't know. Now, no. and then, okay. I got them outside, but then I did the same process, but with this, this X-Relic Pearl. Hmm. Where's that one at? Let me grab that. Go look at it. Quick check. Quick check. So same deal. It's on the top. Yep. Let's see it right away. Oh, it is. So, Shrillic Pearl in the black. Shrillic Pearl over black. Like it just, I don't know, it just, does that look just muddy? Yeah. When it's in there? Yeah, it milks out the, the vibrance of the pearl. Mm -hmm. And then you put it on the top, and then now yeah. it just looks like custom. Correct. You got me confused now because we were just gonna do black. Yeah. I mean, that was my like it's a black car, I was just gonna do black. We can never leave it alone though. But like also if we're gonna do this, we might as well spice it up a little bit, you know. Absolutely. And I so I basically texted Eric a picture this morning of uh, a 2022 Ford F four fifty which had the antimatter blue on it, which is kind of something I don't know. It's like a blue, but it looks black, but then it looks blue. But it's basically in the base coat, it's not a pearl over correct the it's, base coat it's just a base coat color so but the way that we're doing this is we could get away with using like a just a regular like black just a factory pack black straight so it's basically black. a pre-mixed black which is cheap and then you put this just a little bit of the pearl in a mid coat which is cheaper than doing correct doing it all the other way absolutely and then then we get kind of that same effect for you know a budget price it's an easy way to do a custom color yeah so instead of having like a thousand buck in color maybe we'll have like 150, 200 bucks, I don't know, something like that. Yeah, I mean, depending on the intercoat clear, but yeah. Yeah, 
Well, then also depending, like if if like something happens with your hand with the the pearl and it falls in there, you know, like it's just <laughs> yeah. I don't know what. You never know. You never know what's gonna happen. So this is the picture. I texted Eric this morning. I said, look at this Ford color, antimatter blue. Cause look at it right there. It like looks black, it's in the sunlight. And then on the tops, it looks blue. Looks pretty cool. So that's actually what we're doing right here. So that is that right there. That is that right there. So we're making some of that. We're gonna give it a test. Yep. I don't know, it almost doesn't look any better than, no. than almost, the other, the, and it costs a lot more. The OEM colors, like they tend to, anything with violet in the formula, like your side cast, your flop goes muddy. Mm -hmm. So, And I think you'll be able to see it when we compare it to mm -hmm. uh, the color with the pearl over the black. Mm -hmm. That'll look so much blacker. So I need to go get the quick check is what you, yeah. what you think. <laughs> pink. That's There's the pink. Fryer. See it? Oh, yep. Yeah. I do see that pink. All right, so on the bottom, we have the Ford antimatter blue, and then on the top, we just have black base with a pearl over it. It does kind of turn, this stays like sharp and like crispy with the, I don't know if crispy is the word. I would say clean, but. Clean, yeah, and then you turn this to the side, like of the Ford color, like the OEM color, since it all that pearl is in the base coat versus on top of it, it definitely changes the look of it. It's crazy how the pearl gets so much smaller in the color. In the color versus like when it's on top of it, it looks huge. Well, base but. base coat pigments are opaque, so they need to for coverage. Yeah. So anytime you introduce a metallic to an opaque color, you milk it out. Yeah. Where that is pure pearl, and especially over a black base, it really accents that brings out that color. Mm -hmm. Well, I like it, Eric. I don't know which one I like. I like them all, but I I like that one. I kind of like that one it, too. So I'm kind of biased. You did. You did make that. Well, you. I mean, I, Joe kind of made the other one, but we're, we're figuring it out. Ooh, Ooh, Civic. I had one of those. A couple of them, probably. So what do we do? What do we do? We put some pink in that one and send it. You like the pink? I kind of. I don't know. I kind of like. I like, like your wagon. I like that look, but. Guys, there's the box. There's the man. You did it. We did it. Hope you like it. We got all the stuff. We added a little, a uh, little bit of extra spice to the pearl. So we're gonna see how that looks on the car. Right? Yes, sir. Hope you like it. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. So I'm gonna grab that. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Good. You got Carry camera. me out. Carry me out. You guys, back at the shop after we left DNS. This is my expensive little box right here. But we have a gallon of clear coat. We have two quarts of the 2K sealer. We have a half a gallon of the pearl, uh, the pearlescent, basically it's in like a DBC 500, which is basically a clear base coat. And we will put that on top of our black base coat. And you guys pretty much seen the color that we picked. It was one of those blues. I can't tell you which one it was, but it was one of the blues. And then we added a little different pearl to it. It's gonna give it a little bit of extra, extraness to it. So this car is gonna have a black base coat, but it is going to have that basically blue pearl over it. So in the dark, it's gonna look black. And then in uh, in a little bit of light, it's actually gonna have like some blue pearl and stuff in it. And it, it's actually gonna look really cool. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for the paint video. But basically we just have to get this thing all, uh, all sanded. All sanded right now, get it done. And then hopefully paint this thing tomorrow. Uh, that 2K sealer, it should cover the 220 grit scratch, but we will kind of go back over a little bit with 400 grit. I'm gonna be taking all of this old masking and stuff off of it and then remasking the whole car and basically getting it ready to spray. So lots of work ahead. It's probably another eight hours at least before we could even consider trying to paint this thing. Gotta get sanded on it now.
guys. So we basically went around the whole entire car with the 220 grit with the little sticky paper on the blocks. And uh, that actually went a lot quicker than it initially was. So initially we tried dry sanding it, but that was only after the primer was like a day old and it seemed like it was kind of gumming up the paper a little bit. So a couple of days later, uh, we went ahead, or I guess that's today, uh, block sanded it with the 220. And then right now I'm actually going over it with some 400 grit. So I've already done this quarter panel and basically knocks down that 220 grit scratch. So it's probably gonna be hard for you guys to see. You could kind of see a little grittiness and you know, see a little bit of the scratches. Whereas over here with the 400 grit, it just looks a lot smoother and it just feels, feels a lot smoother too. You can just hear it. Let's get wet sand the whole thing with 400 grit and we will hit it with 2K primer tomorrow and spray this thing. So I'm gonna continue wet sanding this whole thing and see how far we get. guys so the whole entire car is now finally wet sanded went ahead and i just pressure washed it real quick because there was a bunch of little stuff you know like little slurry you know wet sanding slurry that was, was kind of down in all these little cracks and stuff and i'd rather it not sit overnight so basically just pressure washed it right where it sat uh, this should pretty much dry up by tomorrow and then we'll probably end up actually washing the floor or cleaning the floor in here wetting it at least before we go to paint it pretty soaked about the paint color that we chose like i said it's uh, it's the blue pearl and uh, we technically don't even know what it's going to look like yet so i'm pretty stoked about that let me know hopefully you guys were able to see the colors in the video and mostly what it's going to look like really stoked because it's basically just going to be black and then when you see it from the side it's going to be blue and it's going to look really cool stay tuned for the painting video which should be out in a couple one or two days hopefully hopefully we get this thing painted tomorrow i'm really stoked to see it and i'm tired see you guys later